four years in the making, Trek have pushed the boundaries of design and innovation on this their new performance XC weapon, the Supercaliber. At 9.4 kgs, it is one of the lightest full suspension bikes on the market. It also features an entirely unique rear suspension system. My name is Miles Kelsey, you're watching Bike Network. I'm going to give you a quick tech overview of this bike, plus a few things I really like. The Supercaliber features Trek's new Isostrut suspension system that has the shock structurally integrated into the bike's frame. This is not a soft tail gimmick of sorts, it is a fully tunable and damped shock just like on any other full suspension bike. If you strip away the layers of Isostrut, you will see a small shock that is encased in a stanchion. The shock is bolted to the rear of the frame and features a custom anti-rotational pin and key system with fork style linear bushings to keep everything aligned and clean. The benefits of the system are reduced lateral flex and twisting, which is part and parcel of traditional rear suspension systems, and a reduced weight of the frame. The Supercaliber is designed with slim seat stays that bow or flex vertically to eliminate the need for a rear pivot. The travel on this bike is pegged at 60 millimeters. My take on the geometry. Meeting the demands of the Adept XC Racer, there is nothing dull about the geometry of this 2020 Supercaliber. Every single number on that geometry chart screams razor sharp handling. If you prefer to ride a little more whiskey throttle than the 69 degree head angle allows for, then consider converting to a 120 millimeter fork. It will slacken the head angle a tiny bit without compromising BB height or seat tube angle, and Trek is cool with it too. In other words, there's no warranty issues there. Albeit briefly, I did try the Supercaliber with a 120mm fork with the stem absolutely slammed and it felt more balanced than one would think. So a few things that I really like. The entire rear end of the bike is a one-piece carbon fiber structure and just looks dope. The two mainframe water bottle mounts is obviously a massive bonus for all races. The suspension system runs on a low leverage ratio system which means the shock runs on lower air pressures and this gives great small bump compliance. The shock's ramp or bottom out resistance is internally adjustable by adding or subtracting tokens. Um, for the mud races, the, the chainstay bridge is moved to the front of the seat tube and this improves uh, the rear wheel clearance. So on those peanut butter days out there, you're not gonna get, um, you're not gonna get the mud clogging up the rear wheel. And last, the wheel set is absolutely amazing. It's a Bontrago Covey XXX at 1,290 grams. It's incredibly light and it's got DT Swiss internals. Um, also, there's no rider weight on the, on the wheel set. So a really, really fast rolling wheel set, which is really fun on the trail. For more of my ride impressions, you can see the full review on bikenetwork.co.za. I can tell you this bike is shamelessly fast and I think it's going to be a popular choice amongst privateers and professionals looking for a competitive edge out there on the racing circuits. Thank you for following, thanks for subscribing, see you on the trails.